Hello everyone, this is Lana from South Florida and this is a orchid <laughs> that I got for Mother's Day. It took me a while to put it together. It's kind of pieces like a Lego. <laughs> I love it. I like puzzles and you know put little things together. So this came out to be such a fun. So it's few flowers and the pieces were teeny tiny. Even this plastic pot or a basket was made of hundreds of little pieces. Little flowers there and stems and leaves and orchids. That is so cute. <laughs> and I have something that is not uh, orchid related that is blooming. I want to share with you guys and to see what is blooming still in the garden. It's not as much summertime, but um, <laughs> this coconut orchid still blooming. She's been blooming forever and she still smells good, smells so yummy. Love, love, love it. Look how cute. This came from Binjan Orchid a few years ago. And it's Maxillaria tinifolia. Uh, none of the Cattleyas blooming. Maybe one in the back. We'll check it out. I've been doing lots of repotting, still have some work to do. Um, these babies need to be repotted. They're really climbing out of their um, pots now. Still waiting when this will bloom. This was, um, I bought this at the Redlands Festival with a spike already <laughs> and it's taking time. The buds are getting bigger and I think, yeah, it's gonna start popping up, but still patiently waiting for this baby to bloom. That's the tuck for that. Oh, look at that. Oh, I didn't even see this. This never bloomed. She gave me such a hard time. <laughs> that was a baby, um, uh, back baby orchid from Home Depot. And that's a blue jewel. <gasps> I'm so excited. She was not growing fast. She was just stunned forever. I repotted her. And look. <laughs> She was hiding her butt behind the foliage, so I didn't even see it. It's ready to pop any day now. I don't see anything else here. Now on this side. Oh, and Sikla baby is still blooming. She smells so good. Sweet honey fragrance been doing it for a while so Catley is getting into growth not many blooms there and uh, chromatophyllum also on the way out still have few flowers but uh, lots of new growth I'm so excited because this is the one that lost lots of leaves after the cold spell but look at all this new growth the leaves are getting huge. Love it, love it, love it. And in drawberry, I'm starting to bloom. How beautiful is this? The color is just amazing. This is my eggplant color, <laughs> plum color, dendrobium. And um, it's really doing so well here have one, two, three, four, five, six spikes, three opening up and three more to come. So 
and this pretty one is blooming i'm so excited the dendrobium starting to bloom lots of flower spikes they're still growing but pretty soon i love dendrobiums yes they can be ugly if they're losing the leaves especially phalaenopsis type dendrobiums they don't like cold so they might lose leaves at the below 50 degree <laughs> but when they bloom they bloom they bloom for a long time beautiful blooms i absolutely love dendrobiums so beautiful all right what else we have here oh my goodness this baby is just we'll get to her i have here one vienda is blooming that's a Pichara Delight, beautiful, vibrant blue color, blue, purple, blue, gorgeous. It's just like um, irradiating this bright color. So like, it, it like cannot be nature color like that, but there are. <laughs> It's insane. I love these ones. And they always bloom. They bloom often enough. Like this another has a bud. And I think there are a couple of spikes in there. I just saw. Oh, where are they? Somewhere there. So this one. No, but one or two or three blooms at the time pretty often. There are non orchid things here. Love this plant, Million Hearts. So cute. It's supposed to bloom, never bloom for me, but it's grown a lot. Should have kind of teeny tiny white flowers, look like um, Hoya flowers, only I think it's singles. <laughs> and we have a bunch of dendrobiums. Look at all this growth two new growths on this baby Hoya is blooming couple of blooms here on Hoya love love this plant oh, I don't think I have it sack but it's something rose it is succulent and it has teeny tiny red flowers like that Pretty much, you. I always have few of them open. It's so pretty, va variegated, variegated. <laughs> oh my goodness, what did I say? So pretty. Oh, again, I can find a name, but cannot get it out of my head. <laughs> Little pink flower, so cute so pretty the colors and the pitcher plant pitcher plant i think i need to repot it the little basket is falling apart it has few new growths yeah, it's been in the same basket for a couple years this little this one blooming all the time just two or three flowers but she always blooms that's Philanopsis is on the coconut husk there, but it's also attaching to this elephant foot. I see there two flowers of the <laughs> of the um, Philanopsis that attached to Rabalini. What I was gonna show is this hibiscus over there. I saw it in Walmart. I was passing by and <laughs> Out of all batch, I saw one flower. It's huge. I, it just wow me <laughs> right on the spot. So it's such a pretty. I mean, the flower is like a dinner dining plate. It's huge. So pretty, and the foliage has that burgundy color in the leaves. It's a very young young plant. The flowers don't last more than a day but man they're beautiful they're just ginormous 
look for the size of the flower for this little plant <laughs> so I came home with the hibiscus plant very nice pale pink color with this burgundy middle and as the day goes the flower gets bigger I'm not kidding it's like growing in right in front of my eyes <laughs> it's insane insane I don't even know how is it possible this one petal is as big as my hand <laughs> So pretty so this is the one I wanted to share with you guys so we're gonna go around see what else is blooming and of course the papillonanta 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 I cannot say that but Miss Joaquim look at that she is gorgeous she's been blooming for months is now I love it how pretty all these bright pink colors the sun is right behind you it's so hard to film it I need to make a short series here it's so pretty she's just getting so tall i need to start cutting her making another arrangement just like that but maybe after she's done blooming she's getting really tall what is here few uh, flower spikes on the viandas and i still have one passion fruit i'm waiting for it <laughs> it's just taking its time i, I can it's get it's get eaten by their um little caterpillars butterfly caterpillars so the plant is not doing so well but at least i have one um one fruit there so there is the flower spike here is oh this is the red one Udamachi Beauty. I love, love, love her. And she blooms all the time. She blooms often. Oh, look at this. Yeah, she's been blooming for a while. She's already starting to lose her flowers. There's another spike there, new spike coming. This is Schomburgia. Um, the name, I know the name. The Romero, something Romero. Veronica Romero. Ah. She's the one that I have black spots on, so I do not, she's I, I mean, I do not put her with the other ones, so she's here by herself, and she's doing well for several years, even with those black spots on. It's some kind of fungus or whatever it is, but I just love her so much. She's not going anywhere. Come on, focus a little. <laughs> We're not focusing, aren't we? All right, so what else is blooming here? This huge ancidium is still blooming. The other one, I have two of them. The other, I just already trimmed their um, flower spikes. It's done, but this one in this corner is still going on and I love the smell of it it really has the fragrance like a honeysuckle wow look at these cute flowers 
stands and tons of it. This is the one that I mounted from the Redlands at Schamburgia and the grows is, look at this, it's growing. That new spike there, I mean the new grows. I also planted a couple of amphibians on that log there. <laughs> it's actually divisions of the yellow dancing lady and um, the other amphibium. I don't remember the name, but also yellow color. We'll see how it's gonna do. This one, love, love, love. This is fragrance, kind of refre refreshing, citrusy, sweet citrusy fragrance. It's a ploy and peat, something, something. Price, very pretty. It's fairly young plant. I don't remember where did I get it I'm pretty sure I got it on the show I think that was Sorora orchids yes and um, so pretty yellow with the red markings and red lip this dirty so pretty and this is so fragrant. Love, love, love this. Love the Mimi, Mimi Pal Palmer type. I mean, I think hybrid with Mimi Palmer, maybe. Mm. This is the name Paxon Fragrance. Um, I don't want to say what the hybrid is, but the fragrance is amazing. And the color, very bright. <gasps> Look at this, the spider was hunting some bug oh my god i don't like spiders this look like will bite and it will hurt <laughs> Body fragrance. I think uh, they come different colors. Also blooms few times a year. Good size flowers. It's kind of yellowish and uh, reddish or purplish spots. Very pretty. This flower wants to go out <laughs> on the way out. I just hang I just made these little bags, spent all day <laughs> pretty much. And uh, maybe it's because of fertilizer that causing this I don't like fertilize my my um, flowers when they bloom. I feel like they don't last as long. I like to keep them on the drier side when they bloom. I feel like they, the flowers last longer. But most of the growers say it doesn't make difference. It's just my personal observation. Maybe I'm wrong, but that's how I, I kind of, <laughs> from my experience, especially cattleyas, I keep them on dry side and the flowers last much longer. Look at this orange, bright orange. Oh, doesn't show this bright orange because of the sun. But it's, it's like also glowing orange color. Oh, how can we get that? And this one, oh, I have a new growth. I mean, new spike there. It's a double, two of them in the pot. This came from Benjan Orchids not long ago. This is the name, and this one blooms all the time. I had her before, and um, I lost her last year when I went to visit my family. I usually go for a month in the summertime. 
my husband was taking care of him and I lost like 10 vendors to the crown rod. He just was watering it away and it was raining every day, so... <laughs> and he didn't tell me until he's like, I don't know, they turned black. <laughs> like, what do you mean they turned black? So I'm actually terrified going, I'm going this August for a month again to see my, my uh, parents. So I'm getting ready my orchids. <laughs> I'm gonna do fungicide treatment before I leave. Couple of applications. Um, and um, I'm putting my phalaenopsis on the tree so he doesn't have as much different areas to water. Cause um, man, it's uh, <laughs> if you're not into orchids, it's so hard to take care of them, I guess. <laughs> Oh my gosh, this is Mimi Palmer. I have a little babies that is first time blooming and mama is blooming at the same time. The smell is absolutely gorgeous. The smell is gorgeous, can I say that? Yes, I love the smell. Very fragrant. This is the must have orchid in the garden, In I mean in a, for the orchid lovers just because of the fragrance and of course the um the look <laughs> i love the look nothing is blooming here this one is on the way out yeah so we can go check out the my sun loving vendors there there are a few that are blooming and i have some new blooms here i'm still waiting for this baby to ripe this time it's a little bigger than last year. I had smaller pineapple. And a few red orchids here. Oh, look at this, look at this. That's the dragon fruit. I have a bunch of flowers. But this one is not going to give me fruits because it's a pink variety and I have to cross-pollinate it with other one. My white one you don't need to pollinate they bloom i get fruit right after each bloom and if i catch them flowering same time then i cross pollinate that white with pink then i'll get a fruit but this time the pink decided to flower before white so i'm not gonna get fruit from this but the flowers are gorgeous so white vietnamese that one I don't do nothing it just blooms and it gives me a um, fruit every time it blooms look look what is blooming there cute cute little flowers that's the cross of nodosa with something uh, something very cute that purple markings on the tongue. So pretty. <laughs> there was something else blooming here. There, 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 there. Oh, two more opened. Um, what is the name of it? I need to look. Copper Queen, I think. In the middle of that wire. This was open for several days, but I see she got new buds that are just opening up this morning because yesterday they were not. So she starts a little bit reddish color and then she turns yellowish more. Such a cute lip with all these markings on it. So cute. Yes, I believe it's a copper queen. And this dendrobium, finally. I have it for a few years and it's pretty big size. I need to clean up this rains causing all this. So I'm gonna do some trimming. And finally, there was also a surprise. I didn't even see spikes. I came here a couple days ago and boom. <laughs> I have these little flowers. That's a uh, dendrobium 
secondo, secondo, um, pink form. This is the name. I believe it's from Norman, Norman's orchids. I repotted it like three years ago. That was my rescue orchid from one of the estate sales. Finally, finally. And the lady slipper still blooming. She always bloom for a long time. She's such a good bloomer. And I'm so excited because this time I have two new growths there. Because they grow slow. Take all year to grow and mature. And then give me this beautiful flower. And this year the flower was so much bigger than last year. And I have a one flower on there. Cycopsis, the butterfly orchid. Few more buds. And I think this is it here. It's Hoya popping up some flowers. All right, let's go see what my sun loving <laughs> something caught me there oh this is the oncidium this is gold uh oh cymbidium what i'm talking about golden elf and it's blooming and it smells so nice so citrusy so two flower spikes but this when i saw the flower spikes somebody already got to it so i sprayed it was a little too late and it's um it when it sometimes it blooms it has so many spikes and so many flowers per spikes this time it's kind of shy just two flower spikes and fewer flowers on it but the smell is so yummy it's a very refreshing sweet citrusy smell very pretty flowers it's a warm growing last year it bloomed for me twice maybe when second time <laughs> it will give me more flowers i'm expecting you bloomed second time last year we were surprised that you were doing twice so cute okay let's see Oh yes, this is new. <laughs> sorry, sorry, my voice. I'm so excited because this is one of my um, uh, moths orchids that is blooming for first time, and flowers are gorgeous. This is the one that was um, ten um, the ten orchids that I purchased last what was it january this is the name it's two of them that are the same and maybe maybe this one getting a little bad i hope so but it's grew probably a foot since i got it look at the beautiful bright purple colors ah oh, man i need to see it this is such a nice shape such a nice color very rich purple i guess so pretty i like the shape i like the size so for the first bloom one two three four five six seven flowers very nice size nice <laughs> sorry you guys trying to get a good good look good uh view so that's from more mods orchids those are my semi-terrace sun loving orchids the sun is not here but it's like what eight o'clock in the morning we're gonna get sun pretty soon here it's already here up top and you guys were asking me if they get full sun they do get full sun it's gonna come in like half an hour I do it does get a little bit canopy over it so when the hottest time of the day the sun right over it so it's kind of protected this tree 
I trim often so it doesn't give too much shade but then sun goes on the other side and they get later a day more sun on this side so morning sun until noon and then a little later later um, a day okay fly go away <laughs> beautiful beautiful yellow mocara i just was listening um dr mod's lectures about the orchids he um he has several youtube videos and for for us growers who grow orchids outdoor in florida it's very good to listen to him because he talks about how to take care of orchids the disease and everything because it's so different if you um, grow orchids up north if you grow orchids indoor it's very different care and watering and sun and all that care with the pesticides fang fungicides so it's good for you guys to listen him um, she, he talks how to water plants how to take care of them so i just listen his lectures i listen them time to time and i forget things <laughs> and every time i'm listening i'm like oh my gosh i forgot about that so um what i was gonna say what what did i learn from him yesterday this is the red Vinancera hybrid. This is on the way out, but there is a new spike over there. This is a short spike she's giving me, and she's getting so tall. I think I'm gonna divide her too. She has a baby here. This she grew so fast, this baby. So I thought maybe I'll trim her somewhere here, and I'll get a pretty good size plant. And then the baby is going to grow because she's getting tall. She's taller than I am now. What I was going to say about the uh, Dr. Mott's lectures. Oh, about Mokaras around us. Remember, guys, I was talking about... Um, I have here orchids that are labeled mucaras and i have orchids that are labeled uh, arandas and i think the difference is in the hybrid whatever they hybridize them with and uh, he said that they're pretty much all now around us there are no mucaras just because they don't do certain hybrid i don't know what reason but um he said no mucaras they all around us so remember we were talking about <laughs> the spots are mocaras the lines like veins are around us so maybe it's not the case on anymore and um, maybe they're mislabeled look at this beautiful white with the bright purple spots love 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 I always thought there was mocara but who knows? At least they labeled Mokaras. I love this red one. You guys saw it. I keep going back, back to hoping to get a better color on the camera. And then the um, dendrobium. This had few spikes and I don't know, it didn't last long, the biggest one, because it's been a few months. Such a pretty purple colors. I know it has a tag, by the way. Oh, 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 this is also the same batch um, as the other one, the, the Mods Orchids. So this one is blooming for me second time since I got it last January. I believe that was January. Somewhere on my in my video I had that filmed my unboxing mods orchids sun loving viandas. So I 
I think the last time I saw they were on sale for like a hundred thirty dollars ten of them when I bought it was a hundred sixty five dollars I think I paid for ten orchids and it's like um, four of them uh, eight of them two, uh, two two each like and then two different ones so it was ten so I got what, 10 of them but there were six different varieties right four five six yes <laughs> and only two so far been blooming but I'm seeing little little bud over there too all right guys I don't want to bore you to death because that's about it that's all the flowers we have here so this is the orange one love her so bright like a pumpkin color she does have little markings on the on the petals and there is another flower spike on the other side all right this is it how pretty there is always something blooming here i love them love 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 them thank you guys for watching and uh, hope to see you next week <laughs> i love this look at this beautiful color absolutely gorgeous